Hello and welcome to another Treasure Seekers Online. My name is Sue and I'm Jane. And we're going to start off with our hello song. Are you ready to join in? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, we're glad you're here today. And we sing to Jesus. Hello Jesus, hello Jesus, hello Jesus, we're glad you're here with us. Sit that Jesus down there. And to get ready for our prayer, remember you'll need your arms to reach high and deep and wide. As high as the sky, as deep as the sea, as wide as the world, is God's love for me. And if you've got some instruments ready, we can sing our Treasure Seekers song. We are treasure seekers, we are treasure seekers, we have fun. We have fun, won't you come and join us, won't you come and join us, one by one, one by one. Well done. Lovely. Now, I wonder if you look forward to special days. Days when you are celebrating and having fun with your friends and your family. I wonder if you have to prepare when you're going to have a special day, maybe like a birthday. You might make your house look really special, lovely tablecloths. You might hang up some decorations. I've got some, oh it's very long, I've got some celebrating bunting here, like little flags all tied together on a a long string where you might put up balloons to make it look really special. You might be planning to have some very special food to share together. You might be going to have a, a tea party with all your teddies and toys. You might be celebrating a birthday yours or maybe someone in your family or just pretending that one of your toys is having a birthday you might have a very special cake to celebrate with candles on it you might have special drinks and posh cups to serve it in Glasses there. Who knows? So many special things that we do when we're getting ready to celebrate. Well, today we're going to hear about a really special celebration meal that Jesus had with his friends. And we're going to find out about how they got ready and what happened during that meal. Jesus said to some of his friends, I want you to go into the city and you'll find a man carrying a water jar. He will show you the house and the room where we're going to have our special meal tonight for the Passover. So Jesus' disciples did just what Jesus had asked them to do. They went into the city and they looked around and sure enough they saw a man outside a house carrying a jar of water and the man asked them if he could help them and they said yes show us the room that the master can use to have his meal tonight with his friends so the man said that he would. He took the friends into the house 
and upstairs to an upper room that was all ready for a celebration meal. All the furniture was there that would be needed for all the friends to be at the table together. And so they got busy preparing for the special meal. And by evening time, all was ready. And Jesus arrived. And went up to the room with all his friends around him. There was Jesus and 12 friends. Now, in those days, people wore sandals on their feet. So when they'd been walking all day, their feet were very dirty and very dusty. So before they had their special meal, it was important to clean their feet. Now, usually a servant would do this job. But tonight, a very strange thing happened. Jesus stepped forward and picked up a bowl and a towel and got ready to wash his friend's feet, pouring clean water into the bowl. Peter said, don't wash my feet, Lord, because he knew how important Jesus was and he shouldn't be doing a job like that. And Jesus said, if I don't wash your feet, Peter, you can't be a special friend of mine. Then Peter said, then don't just wash my feet, Lord, wash all of me. Because he wanted to be Jesus' special friend. But Jesus said, no, I only need to do your feet. And so Peter allowed Jesus to do his feet. And he went back to the table. And then Jesus went round in turn with the bowl and the towel and washed each friend's feet. And so they were all clean and refreshed and ready to enjoy their meal together. Towards the end of the meal, Jesus picked up a piece of bread and he broke it into pieces to share with each of his friends. He picked up a wine glass and again passed it to share with each of his friends. And as he did it, he said to them, When you have bread and wine again, remember me. The friends couldn't understand this. They didn't know why Jesus had said, remember me. Why did they need to remember Jesus? He was there with 
them. They could see him. But Jesus was preparing them for something sad that was going to happen quite soon. He knew that Judas was part of the bad plan. And so he turned to Judas and said, Go and do the thing that you're going to do tonight. So Judas looked at Jesus and then left. He went out of the upper room. And because it was night, he may have had a light with him. And he went out down the stairs. and off into the night. And he met with the people who had planned to have Jesus arrested. And he agreed to take them to a place where he knew that Jesus and his friends would go when they had finished their meal. They disappeared off into the night to carry out their bad plan. Then Jesus, with his friends, finished his meal. It was late in the evening. They sang songs together and they went off into the night to go to a special place in a garden. Last time, if you remember, we sang a little song about we have a king who rides a donkey. Jesus was the king who rode a donkey into Jerusalem. And we sang about the trees all waving a royal welcome. We're going to sing that same song today, but with some different words. We'll start off with, we have a king who cares for people. 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 And his name is Jesus. Jesus the king is risen. Jesus the king is risen. Jesus the king is risen. Early in the morning. And in the story that we heard today, Jesus washed his disciples' feet and Sue used the jug and the towel and the bowl and Jesus went round one by one to each of the disciples to wash their feet. So the next verse we're going to sing goes we have a king with a bowl and towel. We have a king with a bowl and a towel. We have a king with a bowl and a towel. We have a king with a bowl and a towel. And Servant king is Jesus. Jesus the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Early in the morning. And later on in the story, Jesus had shared a meal with all of his disciples. And then he took a loaf of bread and he took a glass of wine 
and that's what we're going to sing about now. So the words go, we have, oh, a loaf and a cup upon the table. A loaf and a cup upon the table. A loaf and a cup upon the table, a loaf and a cup upon the table, a loaf and a cup upon the table. Bread and wine is Jesus, Jesus the King is risen, Jesus the King is risen, Jesus the King is risen. Early in the morning. Well done. Thank you for joining in. Now, if you've got your hands ready, we can do a little action rhyme together. So we're going to make our hands into a table shape. and bread that we're going to share. Then we're going to mime a cup to drink. And then we're going to do some remembering and some caring. So it's going to go like this. Here is the table with bread we can share. Take the cup, Jesus told us, and remember and care. Should we do that one more time? You ready? Here is the table, with bread we can share, take the cup, Jesus told us, and remember and care. And a little prayer. Thank you God for sending Jesus. Thank you for the special meal that he shared with his friends. And thank you, Jesus, that you invite us to share in your special meal. Help us to be thankful for all the lovely food and drink that we can eat and drink with our friends and our families. Help us to remember those who don't have as much as we do. Help us to be generous and to love and to care for them, just like you do. Amen. Amen. And that's the end of Treasure Seekers for today. We're so pleased that you could join us once again. And we hope to see you next time. Bye for now. See you again soon. Bye bye. Bye.